Hello YouTube. We will talk about those who research time as a phenomenon in the Soviet Union. Albert Victor Wenig. Let's see what happened to the Soviet scientist who learned to manage time. He was a real rebel. Back in Soviet times, the entire scientific world turns, turned against Albert Victor Wenig. The fact is that the theories of the thermophysicist contradicted many laws already discovered by that time, and even today, Wenig's works are severely criticized, not only by scientists, but also by the clergy. Albert Victor Wenig was a native of Tashkent, but in the late 1930s, he moved from Central Asia to Moscow where he became a student at the Aviation Institute of Technology. After receiving his diploma, Venik remained at the MATI, as the institution was called, receiving the title of Candidate of Sciences. For some time, Albert uh, Venik taught at the Aviation Institute, but after defending his doctoral dissertation, uh, Thermal Foundations of the Theory of Casting, he moved to the Department of Physics of the Moscow Technological Institute of Food Industry. In 1956, Venik was elected uh, to be a corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of the Belarusian uh, Soviet Socialist Republic, as a result of which he moved to Minsk, where he headed the laboratories of atomic energy and industrial thermophysics of the Institute of Energy of the Academy of Sciences of Belarus. In the 1960s, Albert Wenig headed the laboratory of the Institute of Physics and Technology of the Academy of Sciences in that republic, and in the 1990s, he became the chief researcher of the same institute. So, he's got good credentials. However, Wenig's scientific interests have never been limited to the thermophysics and foundry processes. The fact is that studying the technology of working with metals Albert Victor Wenig concluded that time plays an important role in these processes. According to Wenig, the existence of time is due to the movement of particles, which he called chronons. In order to prove his theory, the scientists designed a chronal field generator. The device consisted of metal plates mounted at an angle. In the center, Wenig placed a clock, mechanical and electronic, by the way, which slowed down or accelerated its course depending on the angle of inclination of the plates. Wenig was sure that where there is a lot of chronal, the processes proceed faster and vice versa. A physicist Alexander Frolov, in his book New Space Technologies, mentions that Albert um, Victor Wenig had no doubt that time travel would become available to people based on his discovery. Wenig wrote, we can use time in a chronal engine that converts chronal into pressure as well as create time machines. For example, we can direct a real system to its past or future by artificially raising or lowering its chronal. The main non-academic work of uh, Wenig, not recognized by the scientific community, was the creation of the so-called thermodynamics of real processes (TRP). Its main provisions are formulated in the book published in 1991, among the reviewers of which was the academician of the Academy of Sciences of Belarus by the name of Antisovich, Anisovich. The monograph provides an unconventional definition of space and time, cons considering time as an object, as well as ways to manage them. Proceeding from the idea that absolutely everything is material, Rainey came to the conclusion that time, chronal matter, and space, metric matter, have their carriers, chronon and metriant, or metrior, respectively. Moreover, chronons are leptons, millions and billions of times smaller than an electron and have a high penetrating power. Devices whose operation, according to the author, violate the second law of Clausius thermodynamics, the third law of Newton's mechanics, and the law of conservation of the amount of motion are described. 
An attempt is made to explain the physical mechanism of the so-called anomalous phenomena, poltergeist, UFOs, etc. The book states that all the described phenomena are a single phenomenon generated by the ultra-thin world um, that penetrates, or subtle world, that penetrates into us and manipulates our consciousness and health. Albert Wenig's works have been severely criticized by both theoretical physicists and philosophers and clergy. Back in the 1970s, the Minister of Higher and Secondary Special Education of the USSR signed an order to withdraw the textbook Thermodynamics from university libraries. Uh, they, they were trying to cancel uh, Wenig. Russian priest Andrei Kuraev in the publication Answers to the Young insisted that Wenig's books, book Why I Believe in God, based on his theories, is not serious from the point of view of theology and is more related to the occult than to the Russian Christian Orthodox faith. In 1992, Albert Wenig was baptized into the Russian Christian Orthodoxy after which he largely switched to studying the peculiarities of the interaction of the material and spiritual worlds, deepened into the study of the so-called subtle world. In the last years of his life, he worked on a book about the subtle worlds and their management of bioorganisms, meaning the biosphere of the earth. However, Venik's research was interrupted by his unexpected death under very strange circumstances. On November 24, 1996, Venik was hit by a car on one of the streets of Minsk. The scientist received injuries incompatible with life. He passed away. Albert Victor Venik had a fu funeral in one of the Minsk cathedrals and buried in a cemetery outside the Belar Belarus capital. It is noteworthy that the academician claimed that human consciousness after death continues to exist in the same subtle world. Who was disturbed or panicked enough by his coronal uh, research, which I think he abandoned at the end, or his ventures into the subtle realms? bothered enough to organize his departure from this world who knows that's all i know about him but i wanted to let you know because i already told you about kazarev and about some other time strange phenomena pertaining to time that was studied in the soviet union or occurred in the soviet union and different areas where it had occurred here are some scientific works that um, Wienig published. 23 monographs have been published, of which five have been imp reprinted in England, Israel, China, the United States, and Japan. He published, with co-authors, six books. Seven collections of articles were published under his editorship. More than 150 articles have been published. 55 inventions have been made. I ask that you please see my other videos about the Russian researchers of time or uh, temporal spatial phenomena call it what you want you will see the playlist in the description to this video it's an exciting subject it's a very interesting subject but for some it was a very dangerous subject too but i'm sure people continue to study the phenomenon of time and how to move through it so if you can support my research please do so through the links you'll find in this uh, video description too. Uh, please support my research if you can and subscribe to my channel, like my videos and tell others. Thank you.